Hi! I'm Angie and today we're trying out a, a new design. It's actually not a new design, but more to that in a second. We're trying out a design for our chocolate bonbons and I have been trying these designs over the past few years a couple of times and I actually also recorded I believe two or three videos about it um, and I only published one of those because I just could never make it work. And this sounds really ridiculous because it's the easiest thing to do, but I just could never make it work. So I never tried it again. Like I think the last video was probably three, four years ago and also the last try. And uh, today's the day we're going to do it again. And I know it's ridiculous, but like I only want to use my finger and a brush and trying to make it work. I want to try to make it look good. I want my colors to stay in temper. My chocolate is going to stay in temper, or at least that's what I'm hoping for. I think that my layers were just way too thick and that might have been the issue. Yeah, I'll show you some photos of uh, my last attempts a few years ago. I would say we're just going to do this now because as you probably know, Something like this can be so, so frustrating. But we're doing this now and hopefully we're doing it well. So yeah, let's go. Here we go, this is the mold I'm going to use today. Um, I have a link down in the description. And then I don't, like, I don't really have a plan for this today, okay? So I'll just show you the colors uh, that I wanna use, but I don't know if I really will use all of them. Um, we will just roll with it. And then I have a purple, blue moonstone, and a blue. So those are the colors I plan to use. Here I have three brushes. Um, I wish I would have a bigger one, but um, well, that's what I have, so that's what we're going to use. Yeah, and I guess we can start. So I'm planning to uh, paint maybe either 9 or 12 of the cavities. Let's see how this works. So what I planned first. It's going in with my finger and then using the brush. I don't have any more plants. Okay, let, let's just see. Okay. No idea what I'm doing. So all I'm doing is making a with squiggle or something and here with the last row I know what I'm going to do okay with this last row here I will only use my finger because I want to try something out next I'm going in with my green and I just want to go over uh, my blue just to create a little bit more of an interesting squiggle I think <laughs> maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about here, okay? I've never tried this really before. And here I'm just squiggling around a little bit here with those ones. I think it's time to use some of the pink and maybe my brush. Yeah, but you can see my color isn't set yet, so I'll wait for it to set maybe two, three minutes. And then I'm using a brush, I think, and the pink. Yeah, and turning it around. Um, <laughs> what am I doing now? I don't know. Um, I have to take it up, otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going for mermaid wipes today. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm doing anything different with my brush than with my finger. Not sure. And here for the last row, I'm just using the finger again. Okay. This is what we've got. Let's do the same thing with the brush with the darker purple. So I'm going over the pink with my purple. Okay, now I used my brush and my finger. You know what? We're going back with the finger with the white. 
I have changed my mind. We're going back with the finger with the blue, with the darker blue. And now I'm trying to reach those spots where I don't have paint yet. So this is where we are right now. I'm waiting until uh, the blue has completely set, like you can see that it's still a little bit shiny here. Um, and I'm just going to wait um, until it's completely set and then I'm going in with my white. If you have an airbrush you can definitely um, yeah, uh, do the last layer with, with your airbrush. And um, I'm just going to use my finger just to fill uh, the remaining uh, spots where no color is. Okay, so this is where we are. Um, I would say I'm tempering my chocolate and let's see how they turn out. I'm excited. Here we are again. Ooh, look at those. Okay, I don't think that I would have even needed the last white layer. This they look awesome and so different from everything else I usually do. Ooh. Those three here are the ones that I made only with my finger and I'm, yeah, I think I just used way, way, way too much of the blue up front. Um, you can see a little bit here what I was going for, but like not really. They all look <laughs> a pretty blue, so next time I'll just use a little bit uh, less of the color um, at first. Um, but yeah, all in all, I think they look really, really good. I'll do this again. I'll do this again. And I kind of feel a little bit of redemption, so this is awesome. Cool. Success! We made it work so uh, I'm super stoked about the end result as you can see and um, yeah we're at the end of this video so if you have any questions leave them down in the description below follow me on Instagram at chocolate spiel um, you can also send me a DM and ask your questions there and yeah that's all have a good one bye